A lot of us are getting ready to shop till we drop after Thanksgiving. And if you're going to be doing most of your buying online, a warning about some Black Friday scams that could cost you a pretty penny. Arthur Chien live in our newsroom with what we need to know to stay safe. Hey, Arthur. Hey, Teresa. While hundreds of thousands of New Yorkers reported scams to the Department of Consumer Affairs in New York last year, which tells us that amounts to a loss of more than $350 million. And experts are now saying this year is even scarier, if you can imagine it, with scammers coming after your money with elaborate con games using social media, text messages, emails, even creating fake, nearly flawless websites. While cyber experts say it is alarming, we want to arm you with how to navigate this shopping season safely. This is an unbelievably nasty year. I haven't seen anything like this before. Tis the season to be scammed. As the holidays are upon us and we open our wallets, Global scammers are looking for a way to steal. Experts say the most dangerous scams are on text and email messages that we get that look incredibly authentic. The phishing scam depends on getting you to click on a link. Whether on your computer or on your phone, it is a crime that is on the rise. And there's one simple way to make sure you don't fall victim to it. If you see an email offer that you really like, go directly to the website as opposed to clicking anything in the email. A lot of these emails are not only scams, but they contain viruses that you just do not want to expose your computer to. And with our addiction to our phones and social media platforms, the Department of Consumer Protection is warning New Yorkers of scams using the likes of Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok to advertise, also to get you to click on a link. Sometimes it goes to a fake website. Here's the smart advice if you see an ad on social media and you're interested. Your antenna should be up if you're even clicking on anything in a third-party uh, marketplace uh, scenario. And finally, fake reviews. Marketing experts say about half the reviews out there are fake, created by bots. In this case, the more reviews, the likelier we're getting a better picture of how a product really is. You can rely a little bit on what the reviews say, maybe the number of stars. The greater the number of stars, the greater the number of reviews, the more likely they are to be averaged out to be okay. So here's the key takeaway here. If you have any hesitation at all, just don't do it. If you see a typo, for instance, or it's a deal that seems amazing, experts say go directly to the source. They say no retailer offers email only or text only deals. If it's legit, they say you can get it by going directly to that retailer's website. Teresa. Man, these scammers are getting so good, Arthur. They are. All right, thank you.